Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to the God's Hiller 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and I have a prophecy I'd like to share with you today. Uh, I received this prophecy last week, and um, I've been uh, meditating on it over the, the last several days. And uh, it's concerning a topic that I've never uh, discussed uh, publicly before uh, on the God's Hiller 7 Channel. And it's not having to do with any other uh, prophecy messages that I can tell right now um, that we have up, and there's probably near 700 up. So join me. I'm going to be in the book of Genesis. I'm going to be in Genesis uh, chapter 6. I'm going to read uh, verses 1 to 5. Uh, the title is called The Wickedness and Judgment of Man. Now it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves of all whom they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh, yet his days shall be one hundred and twenty years. There were giants on the earth in those days, and also afterward, when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. Those were the mighty men who were of old men of renown. Next I'm going to be in the book of Jude. Uh, Jude, uh, let's see. Jude chapter 1, uh, verses, uh, let's see, 6 and 7. And the angels who did not keep their proper domain, but left their own abode, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day, as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to these, having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strange flesh, are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So again, this, this prophecy, this uh, bothered me. So the title of the prophecy is The Coming of the Angels of Rebellion. I shall tip the scale. Those from the past shall revisit in the future. Those that had been cast down from the heavens because of their rebellion, those who taught the inhabitants of the earth war, astrology, engineering, weaponry, Prepare yourselves, for what your eyes shall see is not of this world or your earth. Speak, daughter, of the time of change, the time of the watchers, the time of every vile deed and great wickedness. I shall shorten this time, as you have the understanding that these things are not from above, but from below. Do not fear, for I am with you. So how's that? I know that that made me think about things. Uh, I had uh, already considered those uh, scriptures and uh, I know from the Genesis and some of the research I did that those uh, gi giants, they were the angels that were cast down from um, the heavens. And um, the fact that it's coming up now, this is really mind boggling. So again, we know we're in the latter days. Uh, you don't know what you're going to see at this point because I can't even fathom what, what is going to be happening. Uh, so repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be created about that in Acts 2.38. Get your house in order. Uh, we know uh, the clock is ticking. I have the prophecy up there. The clock strikes 12 o'clock. So we're on the end here. Uh, and I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd. 2015 Yom Kippur Day of Atonement. If you're a new friend or a subscriber out there, you might not understand what that is. Uh, that is a prophecy time frame. I got a prophecy back in, I believe it was January of 2012, with a specific time frame that I'm to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, where the Lord offers a complete cancellation of spiritual debt and a brand new beginning to everyone who responds to His message. And again, these are not our messages, these are His messages. Uh, that he spoke through us. 
So again, um, we know time is short. Get, get your house in order. Uh, be prepared. You don't know what you're going to see. Uh, and he says at the end of this um, prophecy, do not fear for I am with you. So whatever it is, turn the TV off, shut your computer off, turn your phone off, spend some time with the Lord, and uh, have a blessed and safe day. Remember to, uh, to like us on our God Seller 7 Facebook channel. I do put up some other things on there, and I do put up some of the scriptures uh, for prophecies that are coming up. So amen, and be safe today.